Okay. Beat him. I'm gonna show y'all boys where I'm from, man. I'm from that. What's the deal, baby? You already know who it is. The big boss, how boss dog. Cake poke through the door. Get the top to the box. Before I get in my soliloquy, we maybe sometimes don't ask. Good people do. Don't offer yourself. Call them in there. Hotline, maybe you matter. Peak game, peak game. Made it for on Will Swain. So, I'm gonna talk about Devontae Tank Davis versus Vasily Lomachenko. I wanna break down that matchup. Um, they're in talks, right? Nothing is set in stone. Um, according to Boxer Ego and other reports in Ring Magazine, um, they're gonna put their Ring Magazine belt on the line for that particular matchup, you know. Um, they believe that Javante Tech Davis and Vasily Lomachenko are the best in the division, which, according to ESPN.com, they got Tank number one, Vasily number two. So, um, that Ring Magazine belt is gonna be on the line. It's also a unification. So, it's a lot on the line, you know what I'm saying, if this fight happens. Um, but I wanna break this fight down, right? And uh, y'all Shakur fans, man, let me tell you something. Before I get into this breakdown, all that emotional stuff y'all put in that last video in the comment section, I need y'all to throw that in the trash. I need all y'all to find y'all to y'all testosterone, drop your nuts, and shut the hell up. That's what I want y'all to do. You know what I'm saying? The last video I talked about Shakur never disrespected him. I said Shakur's a great fighter. I even said Shakur would be up on the cards against Tank. I just said he gonna get caught. That's all I said, right? That's all I said, right? I didn't say, oh, Tank gonna dominate him. I didn't say none of that. I said Shakur is gonna be up on the cards. I said Shakur gonna be up on the cards. You know what I mean? He gonna be, it's gonna be a tough fight. He gonna make Tank think in there. But I said, Tank gonna catch him round nine. That's what I said, and that's gonna be it. You know what I mean? So, you know, I think y'all are upset because of the fact that I said Shakur gonna lose. But there has to be a winner and a loser in the sport of boxing. And I ain't I ain't invested in no fighters in the sport of boxing. I'm invested in the sport itself. I ain't, I ain't no sack chaser of no fighters, right? That's what it is. If I was so pro Javante Tank Davis, I wouldn't even be giving no props to Shakur Stevenson. And we got to keep it a thousand. We got to keep that mug all the way funky. You got boys out here, man. Dang, you go on their channels, these pro channels, these pro Shakur channels, these pro Terrence Crawford channels, these pro whatever channels. They only going to hype up the fighter that they like. You know what I'm talking about? That ain't like that over here on Boss Channel. You know what I mean? We don't hype up the fighter that we like. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn about none of that. You know, we, we talk boxing. That's just what it is. So you come over here again, you die over here. That's what it is. We with the smoke. We with whatever you want to do. You know, all that talking and all that, you throw it in the trash because I'm not a man of many words when it comes down to this stuff. Had dudes talking about I ain't never boxed before. Uh, I, I'm going to tell you like I told everybody else. All you got to do is say the word. I can put you on the card. And you can see how much boxing that I know. That's the only time I'm going to address that issue. Anyway, let's talk boxing. So, Vasily Machik was Javante Tank Davis. It's another fight that I think will be very difficult for Javante Tank Davis. Um, Vasily Machenko is 36 years old, but he's fought almost everybody at the division, at the weight class at 135. So, you know, you're looking at a guy who is a veteran, who's crafty, who's very skillful, very knowledgeable, has a big amateur experience, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, could pose some issues for Tank. You know what I mean? Um, Vasily Machenko got the best feet in boxing, which helps him, you know, sets him up in situations to where offensively he can get off on you. Pause, no diddy. So, going into this fight, I see very... Uh, various ways Vasily Machenko can uh, get Tank. You know what I'm saying? Um, Tank is a slow starter. He typically tries to, you know, collect data and things of that nature so he could be able to, you know, bring his best foot forward So when he fights. But um, looking at the circumstances, I think early on Vasily Machenko going to have a lot of success. You know what I'm saying? I think Vasil is going to be able to, you know, be, again, kind of like Shakur, be up on the cards. I think the key thing for Vasil Lomachenko 
is going to be his ability to counter, right? I think he's going to counter Tank early, you know what I mean? And I think that it's going to pose an issue for Tank, you know? Um, I think Tank is going to, he's going to throw every now and then, but I see Vasilo Machenko being able to counter Tank, get Tank to throw something, and then Vasilo Machenko using his feet to set up an offensive attack. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I see Vasilo Machenko up early, like maybe like three, four rounds. You know, I'll say rounds one to four. You see Vasilo Machenko really dominate. Not gonna lie to you, but once he hit round five, I, I see Tank being able to cut it up on Vasilo Machenko. You know what I mean? I see Tank being able to cut it up and start landing shots to the body. Pause, no diddy. You know what I mean? Give Vasilo Machenko's back on the ropes and backing him up. You know what I'm saying? And then I see um, Vasilo Machenko, you know, uh, having a little bit of success, but I see Tank winning round five. I think Tank will cut it up and he'll basically stay in Vasilo Machenko's chest for round five. I think round six will be much of the same. And you'll see Vasilo Machenko start to wear down a little bit. Round seven, I, I see Vasilo Machenko, you know, him being a fighter, him being a veteran, you know what I'm saying, him being a champion before I see Vasilo Machenko basically putting up a valiant effort. You know what I'm saying? He gonna, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna dig deep. And what he gonna start doing is he gonna start putting combination punches together. You know, so I think round, I think when I say round eight, Round eight will be a Vasilo Machenko round. Round nine, I, I think more of the same, right? I see Vasilo Machenko, you know, getting having a lot of success, and then he's getting off with combinations, pause, no diddy, on Javante Tank Davis. Now, round 10, that's why I see Tank being like, I'm fed up with this. I'm not going to hold you. I see Tank being like, I'm fed up with this. So I see Tank landing a straight lift on Vasilo Machenko and he will drop him, right? But Vasilo Machenko gonna get up and finish the round. Now, Tank just unlocked something. He just saw something. So round 11 come. Tank start hunting. Right, getting aggressive. Going to the body. Throwing chopping shots. You know what I mean? And this is a round where Tank start dominating, right? going to the body. You start seeing Vasilo Machenko kind of like throwing, but he ain't really landing. Tank then make a, 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 a positive to the body, throw an uppercut, hook, spin out, and I think this shot will be the shot. The straight left. I see the straight left landing on the button. Vasilo Machenko putting him to sleep. I got Javante Tank wearing Javante Tank Davis winning by KO against Vasilo Machenko round 11. And it would be another fight where, just like the Shakur fight, where they would be up on the cards. But I think Tank gonna land on the button and, you know, that body work that he, he began to put on in round five will wear Vasilo Machenko down. And I got Tank winning round 11 by KO. I think, no, I can see this way. I can see Vasilo Machenko taking this 12 and him winning no points. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is not gonna be an easy fight for Javante Tank Davis. Just like I said, the Shakur fight would not be an easy fight for Javante Tank Davis. But I think Vasily Machenko offers a little bit more of a wrinkle, if that makes sense. He gonna make Tank think more than Shakur. Shakur kinda, I mean, he, he's brilliant in his offensive attack. We ain't taking nothing away from him. But Vasily Machenko, the way he's able to change angles, you know what I mean? So effortlessly. Like, dude could be on the right of you and then be on the side of you and then turn you around. Then he on the left side. It's it's like his feet is immaculate. So Tank got to be on this piece of cues. Calvin Ford and Ken, they really going to have to, uh, they really going to have to study. They really going to have to be, you know, doing their work. Now, one thing I will say is Vasilo Machenko don't like power. You know what I'm saying? He don't like them. He don't like power. We saw that with uh, Teofimo. We saw that a little bit with Jermaine Ortiz. He don't like power. You know what I'm saying? Nah, he ain't no punk. You know what I'm saying? He ain't soft. You know what I mean? He, he, he gonna get it, but that power do something to him. You know what I mean? And that's one thing I would say 
that Javante Tank Davis has is that power, and he accurate. You know what I'm saying? Tank gonna have to kind of up his rate a little bit against Vasilo Machenko. He's gonna have to up his rate, but also his defense gotta be immaculate in this fight against Vasilo Machenko. His defense gotta be on another level. You know what I'm saying? Because Lomachenko throw a lot. He throw from different angles, though. You know what I mean? So Tank defense gotta be on point. You know what I mean? I think he gotta be sharper in this fight than in the Shakur fight. I think in the Shakur fight, I won't say he needs to slack on defense, but I think with Shakur, he gonna have to be a little aggressive against Shakur. So he might have to take a shot, pause no diddy, to deliver a shot with when it comes to Shakur. But Lomachenko, he can't take that risk. You know what I'm saying? He gotta be able to be like, all right, cool. I gotta, I gotta, I, I can't take no type of punishment against this dude. Because if a seal of a chico see an opportunity, he's taking it. And he, what he gonna do is, he gonna wear you down. He gonna frustrate you and make you quit on the stool. You know what I mean? So, what I think Tank need to do is, he really need to get in his bag defensively, right? When it comes to seal of a chico, you know, and kind of up his rate just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the fundamentals is going to be key in that fight. You know what I'm saying? Having them hands high. Having that chin tuck. You know, good balance. You know, all that. All that is, is, is important. The same like in the, in the Shakur fight. All that is important. You got to, when, when you get to these top, the, you know, when you get to the top, bro, like you fight these top guys, yo, your fundamentals got to be on point. It's the fundamentals that's going to help you. You know, that's where the day one stuff coming to the to the picture and to the fold. Because, you know, all that flashy stuff is cool, you know. But you saw Tank against Frank Martin, hands high. You know what I'm saying? Chin tuck. You know what I mean? Good fundamentals on balance. You saw that. You know what I'm saying? So Tank got to get back to that, you know. But against Lomachenko, you know, he got to be he got to be sharp as a razor. You know what I'm saying? That jab got to be money, too. He got to have to throw a lot of jabs, you know. But um, I mean, it's a it's an exciting fight. You know, we get in these fights. And, you know, if Tank is able to be victorious, I mean, it's just going to up his catalog even more. You feel me? You know, somebody so, um, especially against a fighter like Vasilo Machenko, a guy that, you know, he's been tied to for a while. You know what I'm saying? So we shall see. You know, uh, but all the people hating on Tank, man, like, bro, it is what it is. Only reason they hate on that, man, I'm going to keep it thousands because who he was affiliated with. He was affiliated with Floyd. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. He's a Floyd Mayweather product, you know, an Al Heyman product. That's why they don't like him. Because how you how can't you not like Tank? You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to keep it focused. Like, the nigga be sleeping, boys. You know what I'm saying? Like, sleeping him. He just slept a top fighter in Frank Martin. You know what I'm saying? And for those of you talking about Frank Martin's not a top fighter, according to the rankings, he's a top five fighter. So, and Tank just slept him. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, something that... I ain't gonna lie, I ain't even see. I thought it was gonna be like a TKO, like the referee just standing in front and be like, nah, that's enough. Nah, that man said, nah, I ain't gonna be no ref standing there. I'm finna sleep this boy. The boy was sleep, bro, like, like he was, the boy, <laughs> that's why I call him Dr. Tank. Dr. Tank gave him his prescription of melatonin, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, stop playing, bro. So, <laughs> We shall see how this fight go. This Lomachenko, it might go 12. You know, uh, Tank has went 12 with uh, uh, Eastside People Cruz. And, you know, that's the fight he had an injury. And there's another fight. I forgot his name. You know, uh, early, it was early on in his career. So, you know, but other than that, Tank, he don't leave it in the judge's hands. So, you know, we shall see. But Tank, this fight got to be sharp as a razor on defense. That's what I think. You know, but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Let's go.